Okay, something real different. There's a website out there called 23andMe. It, um, it's an ancestral composition, 23DNA, who knows. So I looked into it and um, I, sent it, I sent it for a kit. It took about two and a half weeks to, to get here. And in the kit, it came with a tube about that big. And I had to spit in this tube. It was a lot of spit. An unbelievable amount of spit. So it finally got here. Some little surprise, some not so surprised. Basically what it does is it from your DNA, it tells you it gives you your traits, um, what your true nationality is, based on your DNA, uh, all kinds of other things which I'm gonna go over. So it basically said I'm one hundred percent European. Not real surprised, but I always thought I had um, an American Indian in me. At least that's what I was told. I was also told that I was German and Dutch. German and Dutch on my father's side. French, English, no. German, Dutch, father's side. French, Irish, and little American Indian on my mother's side. But heavily on the uh, German side because my family came here in the late 1800s where they settled was in a German community in Stanley, Virginia, uh, just beyond the Shenandoah Valley. Okay, so here it is. Da -da -da -da. 100% European. Alright, it says I am 72% Northwest European. It says I'm 72% Northwest European. British and Irish, 25%. French and German, 15.9%. Scandinavian, 2.1%. Broadly Northwest European, and it goes on and on. So, 2.4% Italian. Uh, that's new. Here you go. So somewhere in uh, so somewhere in 1840 to 1900s, your great 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 grandparents, or whatever French, German, British, and in the 1700s, you have the Scandinavian, Eastern European, and Italian, which is really um unusual because I never never knew any of this but it's really interesting because they uh, gave me also scientific details of based on my DNA what um, things would be so let me go find it it appears that the site is actually in the middle of some crap but good thing I printed it out so okay from that it tells me and I'll show you Okay, it appears, it appears that the site is maintenance. So, I, I, and earlier today, I, I actually printed this out. Um, people, possible relatives that have taken this DNA test that are in their 23andMe's DNA database, 1,183. It says, there are, say, it says there are two people that could be cousins, second cousins, uh, 1181, third and fourth cousins, and many distant cousins have taken this uh, test. It's very interesting, uh, all new to me. So, it gives me a map of distant cousins. So the darker the blue, the further they're apart they are, um, distant, fourth cousin, fifth cousin. Which is all possible because um, you have Virginia, Carolinas, Florida. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a section uh, compare my DNA based on surveys and tests. All the people that have the matching DNA of me. All right, so 59% less likely to skydive, 55% less likely to run a marathon, 49% more likely to drink caffeinated soda. Well, the first two, oh hell yeah, I'm not jumping out of the plane or running a marathon. But the caffeinated soda, sure. I don't drink, really drink that much soda at all. You know, just not in me. But, and then you have um, more like 48% more likely to do a back over, kick up, whatever that is. I don't think so. 37% to have work as a lifeguard. Alright, let's see. Uh, 
More like this is 80% matching my DNA. Has worn braces. I don't think anyone in my family has ever worn braces. Let me see. So, more or less, 10% more likely is uh, my pee to smell like asparagus if I've eaten it. Less likely to wiggle my ears. Less likely to have sweaty feet, sweaty hands. Less likely to have a, a foreign language as a, an adult. So this is pretty interesting. Um, 23andMe. It, it gives you so much information about your DNA. And it, it actually took a long time for me to fill up that tube. Uh, there was a pretty good size tube. About the size of a, uh, but the size of an average pen. And it was fat. And I, had to, I didn't think it would be that hard. So it really was hard. So 23 and me. So I'm British and Irish? I never knew, I never knew that. The so British and Irish. Irish a little bit. Because I think my grandmother or my mother's side was part Irish. But very little German. Well, French and German, 15%. So it's, it's just a whole new, um, for me, it's a whole new eye-opening experience. So if, so if you want to check out your own DNA, 23andMe. There's a link I'm going to leave at the bottom of this video. And it gives you a lot of information about it. It's just so much to, to look at it. It would take forever to go over on the video. And, and you'll see. With my, the link will have my name attached to it. 23andMe. Check it out, guys. I think it's a, you'll find it very interesting.